guys, it is October. Hey guys, it's October 18, 2017. It is a Wednesday. I'm actually um, just been in the spirit um, all morning today. God has been really speaking to me and reminding me in this season that I'm not supposed to be battling, that I'm not supposed to be toiling, that I am in my season of rest where. What the enemy did to make me think that um, the, the delays and the pushbacks, um, that resting in God or resting in his presence or decreeing and declaring isn't working, um, it's a lie. And I still believe that God can change my life. I said the same thing around the same time last year. And, and I'm just, I look at the videos in the past um, year and, and what I've experienced um, and just the things, how I saw my hope turn into hope deferred. And um, it took a little while for him to restore my joy again. And I'm actually, um, I feel like I, I spent time with the Lord. It didn't take long. I just had to really make him a priority in my life and seek him first and his kingdom and put my business aside, put my desires aside, put my wants aside. And just to find out what he wants to show me in this season. And one of the things that he's been showing me is there's a lot of changes that's going to be made in this season. Um, not only in the marketplace, but also in the church. And he was showing me some scriptures in Matthew 26, I believe, and you guys go read it. But he was talking about how... Um, the only person that deserves the glory is Jesus himself. It's God himself, not apostles, not prophets, not teachers, none of that. It, it's really Jesus deserves all the glory. And the church has made it about people. And what God is showing me is in this new season, in this new wineskin, the glory is going to belong to Jesus. And that anybody that humbles himself before others, God's going to honor um, them before others because you know, those who, who exalt themselves before others, God's going to humble. So there's going to be um, a big shift, a big season that has that's going to change. I mean, the season already has changed, I'm sorry, but there's going to be a big shift in leadership from now until the remainder of the years. Um, I don't really know how long this season is going to last, but I, leave, I believe that it's going to prepare us for the last days, prepare us um, for the... Um, the kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. I remember I was reading the scriptures, the same thing as I think it's Matthew 26. Um, I, I, was, I don't remember because it was in my prayer closet. Actually, let me go, go get it real quick because I don't want to give you guys the wrong thing. <clears throat> and it's found, um, I had to take a look. There's my prayer wall, if y'all could see. Okay, I had to go take a little break because the word was so thick and his... It was so strong that I couldn't handle it, honestly. And so, um, I'm going to go right here. Um, Matthew 23, I'm sorry. Matthew 23, um, the whole chapter, just read it. Um, so let me read some of them. It says, and they do all their works in order to be seen by people. How many of you know people who do works to be seen by other people? And they love the place of honor in the banquets and in the best seats in the synagogues and the greetings in the markets to be called rabbi by the people. But you should not be called rabbi for one is your teacher, for the one is your teacher and you are all brothers. And do not call anyone on the earth your father, for one is your heavenly father. And you should not be called teacher because one, the Messiah is your teacher and the greatest of you will be your servant minister. But who will exalt himself will be humbled and who will ex who will be humble will be exalted um and there's a scripture in verse 39 i just change it to um to a she because i'm a female blessed is she who comes in the name of the lord and um this is what really spoke to my heart and if you go on to chapter 24 it says but the ones who remains in the end to the end this one will be saved then this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed in the whole inhabited world, in the witness to all the heathens, and then the end will come. And I will believe that the enemy is really stopping what the, what the Lord is trying to do in this season because he knows that once the kingdom, the good news of the kingdom, and I'm not just talking about be saved and all that stuff. I mean, truly experiencing the kingdom life um, when the manifestation and the fruits are being seen by the world um, to see his goodness, to see his mercy, to see that he's a loving God, to see his grace and his mercy 
then a lot of people will come to know the Lord because they realize that the God that they've been hating on, the God that they've been fearing, the God that they thought rejected them is really a God who loves them, a God who sees them, and a God who wants to bless them, not because of their works, not because of them earning their love, His love, but because of His grace and just because of who He is. One thing God showed me is it's not because I... um you know, I'm doing all these good things that God is blessing me. God is blessing me because he's a good father. And it's not our work. Because none of our, any of our earthly works can, can earn what God is trying to do in this season. But there was also a warning in Matthew 24. It says, Beware of false prophets, for they will lead many astray. And because of the increase of lawlessness, the love of many will grow cold. So as if that the love is not going to be real. And you'll know which is God's love. Because God's love is very tangible. You feel the love. You feel God's presence. You can't fake God's love. I know when, some, when, when the presence of God is there, I know... Because the love is so fulfilling. Like, it's hard to explain, but the love is unlike anything I've ever experienced in my life. And mind you, I came from a loving family and have a boyfriend who loves me dearly. But nothing can compare to the love of Christ. But then also, let me continue. Matthew 24, 21, 22 says, For then there will be great affliction, such as has not happened from the beginning of the world until now, and would never ever happen again. And unless these days were shortened, not any flesh would be saved. But because of the elect, those days will be shortened. The elect. God highlighted the word elect to me. And it's basically, there's going to be a chosen people that is going to really bring forth the kingdom quick so that these days of, of, of a great affliction will be shortened. And um, because whenever God is trying to do something good, the enemy usually tries to do something bad so that they'll focus on the bad and not the good. But God is doing good things in this season and it's all about perspective. Are you looking at your blessings? Are you looking at the 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 joy and the peace that's happening all around the world? Or are you only looking at what you see in the media? Are you only looking at the battles, the drama, you know, the things that are negative? What are you focusing on? And it's one of those things that I had to do was kind of eliminate what I see and what I hear. If anything that goes against the word of God and what he's doing in this season, I'm not listening to it. I'm literally, I know about it, but I'm not dwelling in it. Instead, I'm dwelling on the word of God. So anyway, I'm going to go back to uh, my prayer time. Um, I've been really seeking the Lord and he's telling me like, I'm a, I'm a daughter of, of God. I don't need to beg. I just need to decree and declare. And everything that happens in the natural all starts in the spirit. And I kind of left my post for a little while because I was focused on doing the natural things to help me with my business, help me with the ministry, help me with all the things he's called me to do. But the Lord told me, no, the power is in prayer. The power is in the Spirit of God. The power is in His presence. After I dwell um, in His presence, it becomes not only a visitation in His presence, but it comes a habitation. And God wants to inhabit um, the praises of His people. And just like He wants us to inhabit His presence, not just visit, but He truly wants us to inhabit every ounce of His being. And that's what I'm working on today with the help of the Holy Spirit. Anyway, I'm going to end with that. I still got to put makeup on and, you know, get ready to, to head out. But um, I just wanted to end with this and just know that, you know, I'm excited for great things ahead. I know you guys heard me speak this in previous videos, but I really believe that, you know, it was, God was already birthing it out. And it's, um, it's a process. And, you know, I'm believing that that, that process is now going to be manifestation. And um, I'm really excited to see what God does. All right, God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.